Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I am going to solve two very interesting questions based on diffusion current. Let me show you those questions first. And what I want is you just try those questions by your own first. Later you can check for the solution. So this is first question over here. And this is second question over here. Right. I hope you might have freezed the video and you have tried this question by your own. Now I am going to solve this question step by step. So let us see the first question over here. See in first question what is given? The electron concentration in sample of uniformly doped n-type silicon at 300 Kelvin varies linearly. So concentration that is getting varying linearly over here or n-type silicon. And how it is varying? You see 10 to the power 17 at x is equals to 0 to 6 into 10 to the power 16 at x is equals to 2 micrometer. See that is how concentration is varying. And as if concentration is varying, then what will happen? There will be concentration gradient, right? Assume a situation that electrons are supplied to keep this concentration gradient constant with time. If electron charge is this, the diffusion constant is this, then the current density in silicon if no electric field is present. See here, one another thing is given. If no electric field is present. If there is no electric field, then there can be only diffusion current. See, there are two types of current. I have told you in my last video even. There are two types of current. One current that happens because of electric field and second current that happens because of concentration gradient. Here there is no electric field. Means drift current that will be zero. So only diffusion current that you will be having based on concentration gradient right so here current density that will be based on diffusion current only and what is diffusion current over here for n type it will be jn diffusion right and that will be q into dn into dn by dx right now you see what is given charge is given and uh, dn is also given so dn by dx that we need to find from this data right now how to find that you see here as if you want to calculate dn by dx then that is simply n2 minus n1 divided by x2 minus x1 right now what is n2 you see n2 that is 6 into 10 to the power 16 right 6 into 10 to the power 16 minus n1 so that is 10 to the power 70 divide by x2 minus x1 x2 is 2 micrometer minus x1 that is 0 so what is this you see this will be this will be uh, 6 into 10 to the power 16 minus 10 into 10 to the power 16 that you can say so this will be minus 4 into 10 to the power 16 that you can say right and in denominator 2 micrometer so 2 micro means 2 micro means 10 to the power minus 6 meter and if you see here calculation is there in terms of centimeter so in denominator i need to have centimeter term so from micrometer to centimeter this will be 10 to the power minus 4 over here right see if you wanted to have this in terms of meter then this will be 10 to the power minus 6 but we wanted to have this in terms of centimeter in denominator right so see this will be minus 4 by 2 that is 2 and into 10 to the power 20 and what will be unit you see this con this concentration that is there in terms of per centimeter cube and divided by centimeter so this unit will be divided by centimeter raised to 4 or you can say per centimeter raised to 4 now we are having concentration gradient q and dn so we can substitute the value so you will be having Jn diffusion, right? That will be charge is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into dn that is 35 into into dn by dx that is minus 2 into 10 to the power 20, right? Now you see 1.6 into 35 into 2 and this will be having minus sign over here right minus 
into this will get cancelled and you will be having 10 over here right so if you solve this let me check my answer this will be minus of minus of double one two zero and unit is ampere per centimeter square right so here correct option that will be this option d right so that is how we can solve this type of questions let us move on to next interesting question now the second question is quite interesting let us read the question first see in second question assume electronic charge that is given as per standard value and kt by q that is 25 milli voltage electron mobility that is also given if the concentration gradient injected in n type silicon is this then the magnitude of electron diffusion current density in terms of ampere centimeter square is how much so we need to find we need to find diffusion current density so what is diffusion current density for n type material diffusion current that is charge into diffusion coefficient dn into dn by dx now if you observe this formula for diffusion current density then you see charge is given to you this is given to you here concentration gradient is also given to you but diffusion coefficient dn that is not given now how to identify dn dn can be identified from mu n based on einstein relationship you see in my last video i have explained you einstein relationship that explains dn is equals to kt by q into mu n here we are having here we are having how many data you see kt by q as well as mu n so from that we can have value of this diffusion coefficient so let us calculate that diffusion coefficient that is kt by q into mu n kt by q is 25 milli voltage so 25 into 10 to the power minus 3 and mu n is how much 1000 right so if you solve this you will be having 25 right and this is centimeter per second in terms of unit right now we are having dn dn by dx and q so we can have we can have diffusion current so now jn diffusion that we can directly have as per q is this so that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 dn that is 25 and dn by dx that is that is 10 to the power 21 right so if you solve this 1.6 into 25 and this will be 100 right so if you solve this let me check my answer my answer that is 4000 over here and this is there in terms of ampere per centimeter square only right you see all the units are there in terms of centimeter so your answer is there in terms of ampere per centimeter square only so your answer is 4000 ampere per centimeter square right simply this is how we can solve this type of questions i hope you are learning things from me and probably if you have any issues you just go through theory video first once you understand theory i can tell you you can easily solve questions for any competitive examination but thing is fundamentals should be very strong before you approach towards examples what happens you know like if you don't have proper fundamentals examples will be very difficult for you the reason is you don't understand the question if fundamentals are proper then question understanding will be a bit easier for you that's why i used to say my students please go through theory first after that you should be solving examples i hope you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video